Hey guys, Shukesh here. Today I bring you a very interesting mid-range smartphone from Oppo which you can get under 20,000 rupees that is about $285. It comes with whopping 8GB of RAM and 128GB of ROM. This new generation Oppo A9 2020 packs a gigantic 5000mAh battery with reverse charging capability. I will talk about that later. There are 5 cameras on the phone, 4 at the back one at the front. The Snapdragon 665 processor is enhanced by Game Boost 2.0 which combines frame boost and touch boost for smoother and more responsive gaming. Lastly, you also get dual stereo speakers equipped with Dolby Atmos sound enhancement. There are two color options for this device, marine green and space purple. I personally prefer the purple color which I will show you in a minute. This is the charger, you get 5V 2A so no Oppo VOOC or VOC flash charging which is kind of disappointing. This is gonna take hours to charge this big battery. There you have the device itself. Uh, to be honest, I have been using this phone for like uh, 2 to 3 hours and uh, I'm telling you guys this is one of the best looking smartphones I have ever used. I mean OnePlus 7 Pro is my daily driver and this device looks very similar. In fact, the phone feels as premium as Samsung or any other flagships. The back panel looks like glass but it's probably plastic and my first impression of the phone was it was slightly heavier but feels very solid in hand unlike Samsung phones like Galaxy A50s or A30s I just got as well. Now Oppo is also providing a transparent cover case for this phone which is of very good quality. It will safeguard the phone from accidental bumps or even drops. I mean the bezels are very thick. There is a cover on the USB port for extra protection from water and it's not too thick on the back and does not ruin the design. Only the bottom part is kind of hideous, but it's not that bad. I mean, the blue accent color goes perfectly with the phone and the front is also slightly raised so that you can keep the phone face down. Now this new 2020 Oppo A9 feels perfect in every way except for the display resolution which is just 720 by 1600 at 270 ppi which is not acceptable for a phone at this price point. Thanks to the curvature at the back, the handling of the phone is not bad. The display's big 6.5 inch IPS LCD with 82.5 display to body ratio and this smartphone runs on colorway 6.0.1 on top of Android 9.0. The interface is not bad but it feels clumsy sometimes, it could have been simpler. They are trying to utilize this big display as much as they can. I will talk more about this later. The front camera sits inside this water drop notch coupled with the front speaker grille which doubles as the ear speaker. The front camera is 16 megapixel in resolution with 1080p video recording at 30fps so no 60fps recording, another con of this phone. Now the rear camera setup is the most exciting, you get 4 cameras coupled with dual LED flash. The tiny lens at the bottom is basically a 2 megapixel mono lens which helps the 2 megapixel portrait lens that is below the camera flash to get the depth information. The lens in the middle is 48 megapixel f1.8 main camera and the lens at the top is 119 degree wide angle lens. Both these lenses support the all new night mode 2.0. You get on-body finger scanner, no on-screen scanner. The cheaper Samsung Galaxy A30s offers on-screen scanner. You get the power button here. The bottom consists of the loudspeaker grille. As I mentioned before, you get dual stereo speakers equipped with Dolby Atmos sound enhancement for 360 degree immersive sound experience. And there is also the Type-C USB port with the microphone hole and the 3.5 mm headphone jack. There is the volume rocker and the three card slots, two for the SIM cards and one is for the micro SD card which is expandable up to 256 gig. So there won't be any storage issues and thanks to the big battery the phone is kind of heavy at 195 gram and also on the thicker side 9.1 millimeter maximum. 
there are other display aspects I want to talk about like there is a blue guard which filters blue light coming from the display to prevent eye fatigue and uh, thanks to the dynamic pixel adjustment the screen is easily readable under sunlight. I used the phone outdoor and there wasn't any visibility issues. As I mentioned before, you get 8GB RAM, 128GB of ROM. That will be the biggest selling point of this phone. I will try to do a RAM management test to check whether it's any good or just a gimmick. Now the colorways interface is nicely designed but as I mentioned before it's kind of crowded which could have been much simpler. There are a couple of add-on features like smart riding mode, smart assistant, swipe up gesture, navigation and full screen multitasking, smart bar. So these are very handy. The display is quite bright, just 20 or 30% brightness is more than enough for indoor situations. Now let's briefly talk about the rear cameras, I have shown you some samples of the front camera. The 48 megapixel main camera is quite good, not the best I have seen in this price category but it's good enough. With proper lighting this phone can deliver awesome quality photos. The portrait mode seems natural and very much accurate, the dynamic range is very poor, the noise handling in low light is not that bad actually. Overall considering the price tag, Oppo A9 2020 may be a good choice for the camera lovers but once again it's not groundbreaking and the front camera is not as good, there is too much digital processing. This camera is capable of recording 4K videos at 30fps. The ultra night mode 2.0 should be good as Oppo is claiming. There are lots of bloatware preloaded into the phone which we don't appreciate of course and overall the speed of the user interface is actually very good. In fact I did a speed test versus Galaxy A50s which is costlier than the smartphone and A9 2020 did much better but I am slightly disappointed with the 8GB of RAM, I mean it's not as efficient, the RAM management is not as good as other devices in the flagship category having the same amount of RAM so just don't go with the numbers. By the way the RAM is LPDDR4X and the storage is UFS 2.1. The loudspeaker is quite good actually much better than Galaxy A30s or A50s. The bezel at the top and the sides are thin enough to give you bezel less fill but the chin at the bottom is much wider than it should be. Let's quickly mention the processor, it's octa-core Snapdragon 665 11nm and the GPU is Adreno 610. I played PUBG Mobile on this phone which played perfectly without much issues. I can't comment on the battery right now but it should be good. Overall it's a complete package but not the perfect phone, I mean there is not even NFC on this device, no fast charging, the display resolution is not the highest in this price category but it's a good looking phone with first response and all. Let me use this phone for a while to share my final impression of this Oppo A9 2020. That's all for today. Thanks a lot guys for watching. This is Shukesh. Do subscribe and keep in touch.